a long, bright spot, you know, for this team. It looked like they were defeated. The, thus is why I say, uh, um, it, it was, if you looked at t- today's title is Team Wolf ain't coming through that door. So th- that's how the Spurs were sitting around. They act like Michael J. Fox was on his way. And, you know, all you had to do was make him angry. And he was, you know, he was going to show up and just start balling, you know. So uh, Team Wolf ain't coming through that door, man. Y'all need to y'all need to get it together, man. And the one person I'm going to say this once again, and, and I've said it before, and, and uh, this is the last time I'm going to say it, is that <sighs> LaMarcus Aldridge, your coach, just said it last night. He's saying you playing timid. That's a, that's 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 another word for you. Sorry, man. You playing sorry, and and we know Lamarca Georgia is better than that. You got the skill set. You can. I'm not saying that they are gonna win the game or maybe win the series, but you just can't go in there and get pumped like you know like they doing y'all. I mean, you you got to look at. They won the rebound game. San Antonio did. They won the rebound game, 49-40. They even won the offensive rebound game, 22 to six. But Guess what? You know why? You know why? I'm going to say it again. You know why Golden State only had six offensive rebounds? Because the ball was going in the basket. That's why. They didn't need to rebound offensively. So do guys need to do something. Something. And it starts with LaMarcus Aldridge. Jonathan Simmons is on board. You know, and, and once when he gets going, we'll know Manu will get, you know, uh, uh, Manu, I said Manu, but Manu will get going, you know, as well, too. So I I just don't understand this brother. You know, may, maybe I was talking about why he didn't go east. Maybe this is why. Maybe, you know, it, it was a, a, a more ideal situation for him instead of just being totally the man. But at the end of the day, it's one game. Did they blow the first game? Yes, they blew the first game. They were supposed to win that, but it's one game. So at this point, I'm still looking at as Golden State took care of what they were supposed to take care of. They took they took care of home court advantage. Now it swings to San Antonio. We'll probably have uh, uh, Kawhi back at that point because I think they play either Friday or Saturday. So he's had multi- pretty much almost a whole week at this point, you know, off. So he should be to some degree effective. Give those boys a little, you know, jump in the pants, you know, and, and, and Jaja may not play because what I told y'all, that man clumsy, man. He can't even, he can't even dunk the ball without hurting his foot. And, and, and ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't know Jaja. Okay. I don't know him. I have hung out with Jaja before. And from all accounts, now man, off the court, Jaja is a is a cool dude, man. Very cool, laid back dude, or whatever. On the court, I, I guess that's something different. But that brother is is clumsy, man. He didn't hurt KD. He didn't hurt himself. Was that move a little skeptical? Uh, you know, suspect. Yes, yes, it was. You know, on it. But Jaja, we probably won't have to you know worry about that anymore. So we can leave that alone and move forward amicably. If you don't know what that's from, look up, you know, the the 40-year-old virgin. So I'm going to get off that. Uh, once again, you're listening to The Wait a Minute Show with your man, Jelani J.B. Bodie and my co-host, Lopan. Indeed. Lopan, thank you for chiming in. I did not need you to chime in. I told everyone you were here. Indeed. Lopan, I get it. Shut your mouth. All right, so. Uh, shouts out to my man, IE Sports Radio. Uh, Larry B is in the building. Appreciate you jumping in uh, here, sir. Uh, I want to get into uh, one other uh, story that uh, b- before we take a break here. And this story is is it's a, it's a little mind boggling. So I, uh, previously on shows, I've talked about this whole thing with you know Adam Jones, and he, he was talking about being in Boston and everything you know about the racist you know chants and you know and all this stuff that was said to him. Uh, now Kurt Schilling, which is is very popular in in Boston, uh, he helped them win a World Series. So uh, that is a guy that that is revered in uh, in that um, or people love in in Boston. So uh, he doesn't believe Adam Jones. He, he said, this is what he said. Uh, and uh, let me find the quote. I'm sorry. But this is what he said pretty much about uh, the whole situation with Adam Jones. He said, I don't believe the story given the world we live in. What? 
that this is what Schiller is saying, you know, on a webcast. He said, I don't believe it for this reason. Everybody is starving and hungry to sit in front of a camera and talk and be social justice warriors. And if a fan yelled loud enough in center field for Adam Jones to hear the N word, I guarantee you we would we would have heard and see fans around on CNN and NS, MSNBC. They would have found multiple fans to talk about what a racist piece of junk Boston is uh, since Tuesday night. We've uh, we've had one person come forward. We found out was lying, and the, and the fact that they are in the area and heard it, and other f- than that, we've had nobody. Okay, so here's here's my thing about about the whole thing with with Schilling. Uh, yes, he, he is he, he's always been you know uh, speaking his mind, but when when you say uh, that. Th- I don't believe it, given the world we live in. You may not have been watching TV. And when I say this is and this not even this doesn't even go to, to a, a racial thing, which we, we definitely could, you know, point out examples there. But it's not even that. What I'm saying is, is that when you say the world we live in, here's the world that we live in. And, and I'm, I'm going to be cool when I say this. But here's the world that we live in. We got fools running up in churches killing people. We got fools running up in daycare, killing kids. We got fools running up in movie theaters, killing folks. That's just trying to enjoy themselves on their day off with their family or loved ones. So what do you mean? Given the world we live in, you don't believe that. That is the dumbest thing that I don't ever heard from a grown person to say that given the world we live in, what, what world are you, maybe given the world that you live in, because the, the world that I live in, and that's just that's just a few things that that's went on in the world. We ain't even talked about all the other stuff that that's been popping off, you know, in the world that we live in. So I, to try and discredit or to question someone saying that everybody is starving and hungry to sit in front of a camera and talk and be social justice warriors. I don't get that. Who would, why would I make something up like that? You know, I mean, here, here's a, here's an example. Uh, here's the world that I live in. Now I've, I've been, I've been lucky, you know, to, to not have been, you know, if I got pulled over by the cops, you know, I haven't been, you know, thrown against a car or anything like that. So I, I've been lucky on that, but have I lived in a world where people have viewed me differently? Yes. Yes, I've I've been I've been out and I'll give you a quick story. I've been out uh, in I was in college. I'm going to the bookstore. I'm just buying some candy or whatever. Then I noticed the lady walking behind me and then she's standing there while I'm looking at buying some candy. I don't think nothing of it because, you know, at first I'm like, whatever. Uh, then I go to another aisle. She's there. I go to another aisle. Then she's there, you know, and then um I get up to the front. There's a brother that's in front of me. This brother just happened to be white. He gets his stuff. He leaves. Then I get up there. And then she says to me, this is what she says to me. Is that everything you got? And I said, yes. You sure you ain't got nothing in your pockets? Really? Really? You're going to ask me that. After, uh, and, and, and the reason that, that it's so stupid, because the world that we live in, this is the world that we live in. I got I got homies that I know that's white and they would say, yo, we would take our black friend going to stores. And while these fools follow around the black dude, we robbing them for all their stuff. So then when they when they come up missing, we got that stuff. This is the world that we live in. That's what we live in. Mr. Schilling, you know, that's what we live in. So uh, it's just like is it's. It doesn't make any sense. It's, it's, it's not a game. Why would someone want to do that? But he's saying, you know, at the end of the day, he talking about if, if he find out it's to be true, then, you know, he'll apologize to Adam Jones. Uh, well, I thought someone had to prove him wrong or whatever. I mean, no one has come out and said, just like he said, no one has come out and, and said that it happened. No one has come out and said, I don't, I didn't see anybody do that. I was standing right there the whole time and nobody said a thing. So I haven't heard any reports like that. So I, I just, I, I, I don't know, you know, it just it got me a little hot, but you know, it's just like, dude, you, you really need to, you know, calm that down 
you know, uh, when you speaking out, man, cause, cause sometimes you just sound crazy and, and you just gotta, you know, let it go, you know, and, and, and wait for the process to work itself out. And, and then we're, we're talking about Boston. They have a reputation. Unfortunately, I've talked about that before. They have a, a reputation, whether it's true or not. Uh, I hope it's not, but you know, only a few got to do, uh, a little bit for it to be a lot for the many, you know? So, I'm going to get off that topic and, and we're going to take a break, you know, for a second as I as I calm down, you know, because that that just just did not make any sense to me what he's saying. But uh, we're going to come back and, and we'll actually ask, you know, the first question, you know, to the trivia. So someone out there can get themselves a free T-shirt. So get yourself ready and we'll come back from the break. We'll ask the first question uh, for the free. Wait a minute. Show T-shirt. We don't take orders from super fools. We give them Texto, give it to you. any and all resistance will crumble. Nonsense. There's never been a threat. Squad. Couldn't handle. It is the purpose of the nurse squad to align our infamous forces against the powers of good and defeat them, leaving us the rulers of the world. <laughs> Boy KC at www.kc.com. This show covers some of the realest issues trending today. He'll keep you locked in from the first listen. You can find him online on his mobile app or at kysii.com, xsquadaffiliates.com, iTunes, Google Play, and especially on the SME network. You don't want to miss it. All music artists, lend me your ear. Looking for that hot beat to make your next hit? Go to FarrellJarrowMusic.com. Tired of paying for overpriced studio time for mediocre beats? Go Go to FarrellJarrowMusic.com. FarrellJarrowMusic.com offers industry-quality hip-hop, trap, R&B, and pop beats that will take your creativity to the next level. We know it's hard to find dope beats out there, so don't waste any more time searching YouTube or whack beat selling websites. Go, go to FarrellJarrowMusic.com today to cop the beat for your next hit. Mixing and mastering services available too. Once again, go to FarrellJarrowMusic.com. That's F A R R O J A R R O Music.com for the hottest beats in the game. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, you are listening to It's the Wait a Minute Show. And uh, that was my man, Faro Jaro, at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, this gentleman does all my music for, for the show. So uh, a lot of stuff that you hear is from Faro Jaro Music. So if you are a music artist or you know someone that's a music artist and they need some uh, engineering or some beats, go to Faro Jaro dot dot com farrowjarrow.com f-a-r-r-o-j-a-r-r-o.com so uh we're gonna get uh into this first question uh for the free t-shirt and then uh i'll jump back into the chat room uh and and go through a little uh some of the comments people have made so this one right here ladies and gentlemen you know pay attention this is this is the theme of this is martin 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 lawrence the show martin uh that is one of my favorite Favorite shows of all time. And so, again, the Wait a Minute Show at gmail.com. That's where you want to send the answer to. So, first person that gets the right answer in the email, that's who wins the t-shirt. So, 
Uh, the 